thank you for letting us share a part of your day. And we have we have some good information for you that I think maybe maybe we can all benefit from. I hope so. But uh, uh, it seems to me that our nation has we've become more and more violent. The television is violent. You go to the movie theaters. Everything is and. I think we've always had violence since the beginning of mankind, but but maybe we need to step back and think a little bit about ownership of guns, about how we talk to our children about violence. And I have two people here, Jack Logan. Jack and I have known each other for quite a while, and he's been on my show any number of times. And he has founded something called Put down the guns now, young people, okay? And you know firsthand, you, you visit people in prison, you go where you're needed. And I'm very grateful that you've come to share with us today. And next to him is Pastor Bobby Bryant. Now, Pastor Bryant is uh, uh, part of the re outreach ministry, Renew. Yes, Outreach Ministry in Calhoun Falls. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And thank you for coming. Now, is that ministry, is that a church, a physical church? It is a physical church, and it's also um, it's a, a place where I also mentor kids. Uh, is that, and uh, I have programs year-round. Um, when school is out, um, there's something that, that I call Super Saturday that I try to get the kids to be involved with, being active. I give education programs there uh, about the Bible, get education program about schooling. I um, have some people um, that will come down and teach them uh, when they are disturbed, um, when they are not passing their grades with some things. So so many areas that we're trying to um, cater on to, to try to meet the needs of the kids that's in the community. So you see you're working with young people beginning about age five yes, all the way through high school yes ma'am and your outreach is to try to give them something positive yes ma'am do you find that that there are a lot of kids out there and all over our area here that that don't have the positive influence in their I lives i do find that and i do find that uh simply because of, of of some of the history of some of the kids um uh, some of them um, growing up without a father or their father in prison and a single mother is raising them and that's when you begin to start seeing disturbing in the family uh, in the household if you would say uh, because uh, uh, they're not having that that perspective the man perspective that uh, a young man or young boy would need uh, to strive for life and uh, and there are some things that uh, a mother cannot teach a young man uh, there are things that you can uh, do, but as a single parent, uh, it is extremely hard to try to cater to one child if you have 10 kids or six kids. Uh, as for myself, I come from a huge family. Uh, it's 10, and I'm the youngest of the family. But I was able to uh, reciprocate of my brothers and of my sisters. Even though there wasn't a father there, it was a single parent raising, but it was... 12 kids that was there that was being um, in the need of each other. We was there, um, catering to each other, um, there for each other, caring and loving for each other. And when there's uh, misrups and stuff, you know, we always uh, had a pastor that would come in and mentor and to help us to strive for better and for great things. And therefore, that was a positive sign that we did and we was able to see. Uh, now, this generation, this time, as decades and decades have came a long way, um, you start to see a little change in, because of um, not saying that um, they don't know the laws, it's just that they have embraced the laws a little bit more. Um, there's more crimes out there. Technology is, is, is more, you know, aware. And it's the first thing that, you know, easily to get into and so profound now um, that, you know, the laws have to change. And the laws have to change for the better because of, of the gray atmosphere and how technology have grown itself. So as technology gets smarter, then the laws got to get smarter. And we have to bring about a change. We have to reroute some things and redirect some things so that, that, that we can enhance what's going on so we can kind of put a stop or kind of put things in control. Not necessarily stop it, but if we can control things, 
you know, it will kind of um, um, help, you know, people be um, reformed from those things. And, and this, these problems are not related yes. to one particular race Absolutely. or one particular area. All race. It, it, it's all through our yes. our civilization. Absolutely. And I, I have to show you this. This was in the newspaper.